What's up, everybody? I have got so many one bag travel bags to show you today. No, I'm serious. It's like so many bags you're about to see. I'm going to go in short detail on each one of them to help you compare and contrast a little bit. But just about every one of these bags has a longer video associated with it. So if you see something you like, you can just open that video up in another tab and watch it when you want. Now, these are one bag travel bags. I believe firmly in one bag travel that is you bring one bag with you I've done this with my family every member of my family gets to take one bag and it has to be a carry-on bag because I don't want baggage fees I don't want lost luggage I don't want to have to deal with that crap and to me the best case scenario like my boy Rick Steves gets into is you want it to be able to fit just right in the seat in front of you now a lot of us we can't do that we need more space than that I totally understand but that is what's really changed my life you never have to worry about if there's overhead compartment space just get it in. I'll be answering questions in the comments below as much as possible. Let's get into it. All right, the first bags that I'm gonna show you are all in what I call the small one bag travel category, okay? What I like about these is they have plenty of space for a smaller trip and they're excellent as daily carry bags when you get there. Almost none of the bags that I show you besides these are even possible to use as daily carry bags when you get there. You know, you get to Spain or something and you pull your clothes out and now you've got a day bag that you can walk around with. That's nice to do. So here's a few you can do that with. First of all, gotta start with this badass bag, the Tom Ben Synapse 25. A lot of you knew that's where I was going. I love this bag because it's constructed is unbelievable. It's never going to let you down. Also, lots of organization that is accessible on the outside of the bag. Very few of these bags that you're going to see me talk about today have as much access to organization as this bag. And then third of all, it's extremely comfortable where your clothes go on the back. Don't let this little size fool you. I fit more into this than some of the much bigger bags that we'll be showing today. I love this bag for travel. It simply has to be said. Then there's the Wandered Perverky, okay? A roll top bag, which means we can get a lot more capacity out of it, or you can roll it up and you've got a smaller daily carry style bag. Now, the good thing about this, we also have some organization. We have a quick access pocket that you're using as you go for your phone and stuff like that. You've got little pockets sort of all over and plenty of tech organization as well. So the Wandered Perverky, another killer bag. Again, you should know this, all of these bags that I'm doing, except for maybe a couple, have a longer, more in-depth review. So make sure you click the links in the description or as the like little information card comes up or whatever, and that you can click those to watch those videos. Also in that category of could use it as a daily carry when we get there is the why not roll top their Magnetica, which I love these magnet clips. I did a whole review on this bag, like I said, as I did on most of them. Killer construction made by hand in Canada and tons of capacity. Maybe more capacity than the two you've seen previously, okay? Lots of customizability on this bag as well. Don't sell yourself short. I like this guy. So if you like the aesthetic of this one, if you're okay with the roll top sort of look, check this one out more. If you want something more stylish or more in a particular style, those two I said before, and then finally, this one is just barely usable as the daily carry when you get to your destination. It's the GORUCK GR1 26 liter, okay? The 21 liter is a little bit smaller and much better as a daily carry, but not big enough to be your single bag travel bag. One of the best things about this, built like a tank, absolutely American made, lifetime guarantee, uh, incredible construction. You're gonna love this bag for your entire life, okay? Not many bags, like, I don't know, not many bags are like that, but the quick access pocket's a little bit of a bummer to work with. You can add accessories out here. I talk in the video about a little trick that I use for the quick access pocket, um, but ultimately, love this bag. Okay, so those are some options that I love for using as both single bag travel 
and daily carry when we get to our destination. All right, the ones I wanna show you next are what I call the medium small versions of these kinds of bags. They can't really be used as a daily carry. When you get there, they're too big for that or just the, the, the look isn't right or something. However, they do have good capacity for single bag travel and a little less capacity than some of the other bags I'll show you down the road. <laughs> First of all, we got the Tortuga home base, the backpack, right? Very comfortable straps in this setup here. This might be a little overkill because the bag is so lightweight. I love this bag for traveling. It's got more space than most of the bags even that you've seen because it opens clamshell, makes it really, really easy to see all your stuff. But there's also a good deal of tech organization and stuff in there. So I love this bag for, for one bag travel when I don't need a daily carry when I get there, right? I could always throw a tiny little bag in there because there's plenty of space. This is one of my favorites to travel with ever. The Arcedo Faro bag, right? Also nice and lightweight, little heavier than that one we were just looking at, but very comfortable straps, nice thick material, a little more protection for my stuff maybe than the sailcloth on the Tortuga home base and lots of pockets on the outside. I would say if you were comparing this to that Tortuga, the Tort, I don't know. The Tortuga is just that big open thing with some tech organization. I really like it. This one has a little more pockets on the outside. It's light as well. You be the pick. And then finally for this category, before we go bigger, the bag that started it all for me, the Manal Carry-On. Excellent construction, great size, lots of tech organization, and really, really well made. Okay, so I can fit all sorts of stuff in here. Don't let the look, I don't have anything in these bags right now. All right, you gotta watch the videos to see how much you can actually fit in these bags. I go through all the nooks and crannies on everything. This bag is a lifelong companion. I love this guy. Okay, now we're going up another level, all right? These are my like medium, medium travel bags, right? These are the ones that are bulkier and bigger than those, but might not necessarily even have more capacity than that, right? I love all those bags we've gone into now. Those are like the, the more minimal, sleeker, lighter weight kind of stuff. And if you can get into those, I highly recommend it. But now we're gonna get into some of the bigger beefcakes that, uh, that, that you might want because they protect your stuff. They've got padding around. Who knows why? There might be a lot of reasons why you'd like these, but let's get into the more of the medium travel bags now. First of all, we got that air travel pack. This is a really nice bag because it's big, it's, it's bulky, it'll protect your stuff, and there's lots of pockets. Great construction with ballistic nylon and the YKK number 10 zips with the AquaGuard seal on a lot of the zippers. Um, love this bag. It's big, it's gonna take care of you. Check out the review. A bag very similar to that one, but maybe with some upgraded materials and some more organization inside is the Tortuga Outbreaker. This is this like diamond sailcloth something, something basically waterproof material. This bag is incredibly rainproof um, and a an all around killer in that larger bag size. Also these great, these straps and the, the, the channel. I mean, this thing is like unreal. It's just a big box on your back with a lot of, with a lot of material. So this stuff with the hip packs can make it feel really comfortable to carry. Now, a little bit of a different look, the Tom Bin TriStar, the big one, all right? It's got backpack straps that are like hideable awayable, okay? And you can also use it as your sort of briefcase look as well with the D-rings you carry the shoulder thing. Um, lots of external organization out here. Three different compartments. The middle one is for your laptop and tech type stuff. Lots of space, okay? Lots of space in this one. I'd say like less space than and maybe the previous two we were just looking at, but if so, it's like by a little bit. Maybe the only difference is it's the same amount of space, but with three, three compartments instead of just one main one. So check out the TriStar, the big one from Tom Bin. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. This is the GORUCK GR2. This is the 34 liter, all right? They also have a 40 liter, which is massive. 
two compartments here, right? I kind of wish it was just one big one. I wish this was a little bit more just like the GR1 where it was one compartment and uh, and anyways, I kind of wish it was that, but it's got two compartments. Same sort of problem with the quick access, though there is some fixes up in here as well, but ultimately you get this because it's bomb proof, you love the look, and you're literally never gonna need another bag. Doggy, you got that nomadic travel bag here. It's like a duffel, all right? Unlike the others, this is much more duffel all right? But when you carry it with the hip packs, it can feel very comfortable because it's just this big, rigid thing on your back. Your hips hold everything. Lots of space and lots of organization in this one. A lot of you are gonna be interested in this guy. Uh, check out the video, uh, check out the video. All right, how you doing? Those are all of my like medium, medium size travel bags, okay? From here, all we have left are the big guys. Now, capacity is a little wishy-washy here. Some of these big guys have no more capacity than what we were just looking at, or the, even some of the small ones have no less capacity than some of these big ones in the end. But, however, these are the ones that travel bigger or that seemed to me to have more capacity. And I have that right, right? I'm the one playing with all these bags. I've used all these bags. I've been into these bags and into the pockets and I have my feelings about these bags, right? So just listen to what I'm saying about it, then you be the judge. <laughs> All right, first of all here, probably my favorite maximal one bag travel bag is the Tortuga Set Out, all right? It is a massive, huge thing that is lightweight. The material is small on this compared to like the Tortuga Outbreaker, the Air Fit Pack, the Nomadic Duffel. This has way less material, so you can actually get a lot more stuff in there. It's just one big voluminous box inside. Watch the video for more on this one because I like it. Also extremely comfortable to wear. Now, here's one I haven't done a review of, the Timbuktu Bruce Pack. The reason why I include it is because it's massive, huge, with a roll top. First of all, without unrolling it, it was massive. Then you unroll it, okay? Then there's gussets on the sides here that make it so that you can expand it even more. It's, I think it goes up to 60 liters. Hello! So this thing is just massive with a pretty solid uh, like like padding and structure back here. Uh, it, it's not nearly as comfortable as some of the bigger, like the Tortuga ones. They definitely, the padding that they're putting in there makes a difference. And their hip straps are just webbing, right? But it's still gonna help if you're loading this thing out for bear. You have some pockets out here, which is nice because outside organization, you know, access like that is pretty great to be able to get into stuff like that. So the Tortuga, or not the Tortuga, the Timbuktu Bruce Pack. All right, another interesting option, uh, but I haven't traveled with it personally. I haven't done a longer review in it. Check it out when you get a chance. All right, the Tom Bin Aeronaut 45. This thing is massive. You've got backpack straps that come out of this back panel back here, or you can use these beautiful handles on the side. What I love about it is you never have to undo the middle thing. They're always there because they're just on the side of the bag, access to the bag up front. It's basically just a huge duffel bag, right? Main big compartment, two side compartments, and the dividers between those are totally removable, right? You just zip them away. Two small pockets, one on either side, no tech stuff, right? So there's not a specific laptop or tech compartment. If that's important to you, this is basically one of the only bags I've shown today that doesn't include that. But it's massive and it'll carry all your stuff and it's made so well. So if you need just like something big to grab, grab and go, you're gonna like this thing. The Patagonia MLC, maximum legal carry. It's the largest size that you can get on, right? There's all these big ones that I'm showing you are about this same size. The thing about this is it has backpack straps that pop out of here and they completely and totally and utterly suck. They are so painful. They really hurt. I travel around Europe for more weeks than I care to remember with this thing because I had to bring a big guy because I had gear that I was bringing because I was filming something. And uh, the backpack straps really suck. Didn't have any hip packs for it. 
But when you carry it with the D-rings as an over the shoulder guy, with a good over the shoulder thing, what I've realized now, they make those. Tom Bin's awesome strap, for example. You put one of those on, it's way more comfortable as an over the shoulder than it is a backpack. And the good thing about it is very nice material, solid construction, lifetime warranty, and tons of organization inside. So good, good gear pack. This is a good option if you're okay with doing just the shoulder thing. Okay, check this sucker out. This is the Heim Planet Monolith, all right? It's massive, it's huge, and it's just a big old honking open her up and let her rip kind of thing. Just one big, huge thing. Made with great materials. Um, it's not gonna let you down out there on the road. Big old zippers, YKK number 10, the whole nine yards. Great ballistic nylon stuff. Um, and fairly comfortable straps. So if you need just a massive gear pack, this is a potential for you. What would I do instead of this? The GORUCK, because I needed more organization, but this is like, if you're looking for just a huge maximal pack, I would make, I mean, this might be one of the more solid of all of this. I mean, fairly similar in size, I think, to the Patagonia MLC, to the Tortuga Setout and stuff like that. And those ones might have uh, more bells and whistles and features and organization for you. But this is just basically a one massive duffel on your pack. There are some pockets though on the outside. You should know that. There's some quick access pockets there. There's another one back in here. Kind of nice that they even offer any of those because it just seems like such a utilitarian bag from Heim Planet. Great stuff. And then finally, this thing just looks so bad when there's nothing in it. The Tortuga Outbreaker Duffel, okay? This thing is huge. It's basically the same thing as the Tortuga set out, but it's made out of their sailcloth material, so it's a little lighter weight and supposedly even stronger. No backpack straps. It's made to be as a companion to that home base backpack we saw first, but this strap, I like this strap. It's really comfortable. So carrying this thing around as a one bag travel, even though I'm normally a backpack guy, I really liked using it because you don't have to worry about anything. You just bring everything. Okay, one more bag I'll show you. It's the Why Not Viking Duffel. It folds up like this to be the size that you need it at all. I love this duffel. Waxed canvas, built really well, and uh, it does. It just has the over-the-shoulder guy, right? So if you don't, if you don't mind the duffel, and you want something that expands to a really big size or looks great as a small pack as well, I freaking love this bag for the materials and the style. Okay, y'all, there you have it. There's a bunch of one bag travel bags for you to investigate further. These are some of the ones that I have absolutely loved. For myself personally, if I had to pick one from this, it would end up being likely the Tombin Synapse 25, even though it's not my favorite looking bag. I like the look, for instance, of the GR1 better or the Wandered Perverky pack. Um, those three are really hard for me to get away from in terms of my own personal collection. Like that's, when I go on trips and I'm not reviewing something, those are the three that I kind of like head towards. Then there's the Tortuga set out, which I really like because it's so massive and, and, and yet like it's really minimal materials. I love that Why Not Magnetica roll top because it can be so good at being really tons of capacity or looking like a daily carry. You gotta love that nomadic travel bag. That thing is just crazy looking in so many pockets and organization and it's weirdly extremely comfortable to carry. All right, you got a lot of videos that you can watch from here if you're looking into more of those bags. I love that you watch this. Thank you so much. Comment and ask questions. I'll ask, I'll answer them as, as much as I can. Remember this about buying a bag or about getting on your travel. It, it doesn't, you know, the bag doesn't make the man. The bag doesn't make the woman, right? The gear doesn't make the adventure, okay? Now, some gear enables us to do stuff, and I believe in that, and that's why I love bags so much. But also, there's a point at which it's like, I don't have the right bag for that, I don't have the right gear for that. Well, so what? Go there, big hearts, open eyes, can't fail. As long as your bag doesn't let you down, right? And basically, everything on this list, nothing's gonna 
gonna let you down. This is a good list of, of really serious manufacturers for these kinds of bags. This isn't something you just pick up at a Walmart or something like that that might break down on you. A lot of these have warranties, lifetime guarantees, that kind of stuff. So thanks so much for watching, for being the kind of person who cares about the, the you know, the ways you spend your money. And speaking of which, if you do buy any of these bags through the links below, some of them I have a, a, an agreement with where I get like a kickback for it, which has been super helpful because like now it's Saturday and my wife's like letting me just record a video when I, you know, I have kids and she's just like, no, no, you can go make a video. So for all of you who, who have been clicking and subscribing and buying and things like that through the links, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys are getting your questions answered. That's it for me. I'll see you guys later. If you want any more, you could check out my podcast, The Fizzle Show, where we talk to independent business builders, small business manufacturers, owners, talk, talk about topics that are interesting and that help entrepreneurs. So if that's like you, check it out at fizzleshow.co. Bye-bye. Bagworks.co JaceReeves.net Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, where I guess want so. us to, hmm. Let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.